It's kind of sitting there. See if I can set this other camera up at the same time. Oops, no, that's not worked. I don't think this is going to work. I may have to pause my video for a second. Okay, away we go again. I need the key. Oh, that was a silly place to put it in. I probably will need the key. Hey, look at that, didn't even drop my camera. Oh, I'm going to come in front of you there, dude. You might have to move a little bit. Alrighty, so, number one. Tube. It's locked in place. Cool. Honey bucket. Flat our little clamp out the top. Oh, we got uh, little Miss Bees running around over here. Uh, come on, off you go, little one. Yes, I know. Where you go? Yes, go and annoy that one over there. All right. So, put the tool in the bottom of that, like so. And start to turn that like that. And hopefully, there may be some honey coming out of there. Oh, and it fell into the bucket. Look at that. If I turn this, go in a bit more, turn that again, and we should start to see it flow through there. It's over 30 degrees to go today, so that's why it's uh, flowing out pretty quick. I think I can turn it with one hand and video it the other. Multitasking. Multitasking. That's scary. Well, it's getting close to almost half ish. Mm. Third. Not quite half. So we may get a second container. I don't think we'll get much more than that. I could be wrong. <coughs> yeah. Close up the girls. They look pretty busy in there. I don't know if I can multitask with a camera and swapping containers. Oh, come on. That could be just a little bit much. Then again, I could give you a crack. Well, I'll grab the other one. We'll wait till it gets to about to the... Yeah, just slide it over your way a little bit. Yep, that'll do. Then it gets up to those ruby bits and then we'll swap it. Yeah, that's alright. Because that's usually a better kilo. Mm-hmm. That's not all the way in there, is it? No, no, we haven't finished yet. No, not yet. Not quite ready. Getting close. Pretty close. You reckon? Yeah. I suppose I should uh, open it the rest of the way up, eh? Hmm. Delicious. Make sure it's all the way in. <clears throat> and the honey just pours out. Oh, look at it coming out now. 
Mm. I don't know, you might need a third one, maybe. We'll see how we go. Just to get whatever's left, yeah. Because that's still falling out pretty good. Mm. It's really coming out. <laughs> you might only get another half of one if you're lucky, because that's slowing down a little bit there. Ready? Sure. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> yes, I was. Still a bit of honey off there. Delicious. Yeah, you may get a half out of this, or maybe three quarters. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Things the bees are in there, and they're just—they're they're already starting to clean up the insides. Mm. Oh, that's a bit scary because when I go to close that, <clears throat> they usually move. Just see what they're doing out the front. <clears throat> Flapping away, having a great time. Lots of bees. I don't know if you're even going to get half a container. But anyway, we'll get whatever we get. Oh, I only had sort of 10 kilos, so that's pretty mm. good. Sort of misleading because you see the back of all those and it looks like they're full of honey yeah. and they're actually not. This is why we pulled it out before and checked it. The interesting thing is you could actually see uh, with the rain, you could actually see they were starting to eat the honey. Mm. Yeah, it still would. Yeah. Because even the back of it you can see where they've taken it out of the back of the front. Yep. I usually try and come up just about every day and take a photo. Of how the honey's going into the mm. Yeah, that's good. Now oh, we can close it. <clears throat> so, take the tool out of the bottom, slide it up into the top. And gently just start to turn that. These are already working in those frames. already getting in there and cleaning all the frames up and they're going to start resealing them and reusing them again. The process starts all over again. Put the cap in the top. <clears throat> That's the other thing is you, when you go to put your cap in, if it's not locked over properly, you can't actually get the cap in. So it's really, really good.
So about two and a half, almost two and a half kilos. Or you put it the wrong way around. Because remember, it only went in one way, I think. Try it the other way. Oops. That's looking better. There you go. You want to leave that for them to clean up, or? Still a bit coming out of it. Hmm. Happy, happy, happy bees. At least all the salt on the ground keeps the toads away. Working. Oh, we got a little mistress back here having a having a buzz around. You can probably smell the honey. Hey, that's my elbow. Don't go too high. Up the shoot, up the shoot. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Alright. So here we go. Ready? And do you want to stick that in there? Yep, that's it. And whatever's left, the honey. You got that? Yep. <clears throat> and whatever's in there, the bees just clean up. Awesome. Oh, this end one, yep. That was the it was first full. One. That's was the, the one, one yeah, one we didn't do last time. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Sorry? Yes, no, it was. Wasn't it? Nope. Oh, okay. No, it's the one it. Oh, that's the one beside it. The one we didn't oh, do last time. Ah, right. About ninety five percent. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't enough to well I don't even know if it was ninety five percent really. Oh, it would have been close. It was mostly capped. Yeah, I know, but it wasn't the bottom wasn't. That's what we were worried about. So they're really busy in the back. <laughs>